Okay, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and this is a very specialized video on that will help you with your search engine optimization if you have a Joomla 2.5 plus site with Foca Gallery 3.2 plus and the Foca Gallery XMAP plugin and I can't think of what else. Anyway, so if you do have all of these, you may have a site that has some similarities to commissionart.net and you can see she has many categories. You may only have one, but if you click on one of these categories, this is a Foca gallery with thumbnails for each of her images. And in this case, we made the thumbnails big enough so people didn't have to click deeper. But now if you do click deeper, Ah, this is the other thing you have to have, is a Foca Gallery um, function called no pop-up for the display of the detail, which means it doesn't pop up into any kind of fancy display. It stays within the template uh, where you can see and access all the navigation. And I've always done this because it is better for search engines. But things got just got much better for search engines with this new plugin I'm about to talk to you about. So if you have a Joomla 2.5 plus site with uh, Foca Gallery 3.2 plus and um, the Foca Gallery extension for XMAP, I'm going to show you here in another tab. Uh, this is that extension and you can see it's for two point, Joomla 2.5 only or later and it's free. And um, that means that all these pieces now can be um, listed in your sitemap. So I have a sitemap link at the bottom of the site and I'm going to click on it. As of yet, very few of these pieces have names beyond what I named them as I built the site using keywords uh, for each one and numbers, which is good, but if you can name them each um, individually, like heart designed door decoration. Let's click on that. Sorry, I've got, I'm going to about to update this template so we don't have that drop down issue. Okay, so you can see there's this heart shaped item. It doesn't have, an, we're not seeing a title and a description because I haven't enabled that yet. But once I do, you will see the title underneath and the description under that. And um, so that's what we want. You want each of your images in Foca Gallery to have a title and a description. And, and once you do and you have this plugin installed, all of a sudden all this information is available to Google because this particular plugin um, works with XMAP and that's another thing you need is you need your sitemap to be entered in the Google Webmaster Tools. Um, so that every time something's added to the sitemap, Google gets pinged. Now, if you have all this, really you didn't even have to watch this video up until this point. But you can start watching now because I want to teach you how to update um, all this information and so you can take advantage of it for search engines. So let's go to the back end of Joomla. So you should have a URL to let you in to the admin area of Joomla. And once you're in, it should look similar to this. And then, unless you have a different back end template, but this information should all be basically similar. And then you go to Components, Foca Gallery, Images. Components, Foca Gallery, Images. And then you'll see all of your images and you display as many of them as you want at once. And what we're going to do is start with, we've got the decorative art category selected right now. You can select a category if you just want to stay within that category. And you may only have one category and then that'll be the only one listed. And then it's really irrelevant whether you select one or not. But just to keep focused and if you have more than one category, you can select that category. And then one by one you can start clicking on individual image links here to open up the individual image detail uh, information. 
So what I do is, it, first thing, I'm going to put a title in here, and I'm just making things up right now, but this looks reminds me of a nebula, and I don't even know if this is spelled properly, but I put nebula, um, decorative art piece, and I put decorative art piece thinking that that might be something people are searching for, so you kind of want to have that in the back of your mind all the time. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down and ignore everything here, and then I'm going to start putting text in here. This decorative, I'm making things up. Now you're going to put a certain number of words in here and you want it to be basically the same for every image on your Foca Galleries on your website, which is a drawback with Foca Gallery. But you, they only let you set the size of, of space available for text. So you want basically the same amount of text for every image so that you don't end up with a big gap, nor do you run over the space given. So it might be 50 words and then you, you have to ask your webmaster or you have to set the preferences in Foca Gallery to allow that amount of space. Okay, so here you are. You've started your text. You might want to do a few sentences like that. And once you get the first few sentences in, you're going to scroll, copy them, copy them. So I'm going to choose Edit Copy. And then I'm going to go up here to where it says Meta Description and Meta Options, Metadata Options, and open up to meta description and just paste those maybe first two sentences say. This you can put, you know, what I often do is whatever keywords are in my title I might put in here. Um, this is something that you won't see on the website. Some search engines see it, Google does not. Um, this all search engines see as far as I know and it's important because if somebody does a search for, say, decorative art piece, and this particular piece shows up, which would be a miracle, um, then, as opposed to, say, nebula decorative art piece, this will definitely show up, but there are probably millions of decorative art pieces on the web, so we're, you know, we're climbing a hill here. But, so, if somebody does a search and this image shows up, this is the text that will show up under the link. And so you want it to be something that makes people want to click on it. Okay, all right. So now you've got some text here. You may do a few sentences like this, and I'm not gonna, I just did a few in a row. I'll do it again. So you've got a little paragraph maybe that size. You don't need much, but you do want to be thinking keywords. So this has the word decorative art piece. And then you might have one last sentence that says, see all our decorative art pieces today. And you, you definitely um, you definitely would not have decorative art, decorative art, decorative art, decorative art. You don't want, so I'm going to take this out just so you don't get confused, um, because you don't want Google to notice that you're, you know, trying to get everybody typing decorative art in. You want this to be and you want this to be relevant information, and relevancy is what will help you more than tricks. Although using keyword phrases that people are searching for in, in discrete ways like this is fine and helpful and good. So let's say you want people to go to the gallery that you have for your decorative art pieces, and you want Google to know um, to, to like that gallery. So you could, in this in a blog post, you could be doing this very thing, which would be very good, or right now we're doing it in your images. I'm highlighting decorative art pieces. I'm hitting this little link icon. Now you do have to have JCE Content Editor installed, I forgot to mention. Very important, very helpful, and it will let you do this where you click on Insert Edit Link. Now we're going to be linking to a menu item. I'm going to go to the, other, to the site itself to show you what I mean. See how this is a menu item here, as is this is a menu item here? We're going to link to this menu item right now. 
Um, if there was no menu item to what you were linking to, um, you would have a different way of doing this. But most of my clients would have menu items. And, the, and I'll just briefly tell you that if, some, if you have something that's not in a menu item but it's in a category, then you could click on content, artful living blog in this case, and then the article that you're looking to link to. We're not going to. We're going to go to menu, main menu, portfolio, decorative art. Okay, and then we're going to hit insert. Now we know we clicked on something because text showed up here. If this was empty, there would be no link. But as long as something shows up there, you're good. So insert. Every site is different in the back end. This one, you can tell this turned into a link because it disappears when you roll over it. I could fix that, I'm sure, but um, you want to make sure that it's a link and you roll your cursor over it and you might see a line show up or you might see a different color and then you know it's a link already. Okay, so then you would save and close. I'm not going to save and close because this is just practice. I'm going to close. But if I had saved and closed, you would see that this piece would now say Nebula Decorative Art Piece. Okay? And um, then once you've done that with all of your pieces, you can tell your web designer and she or he can make it so that they're all visible. But until then, you probably don't want all these sort of junky names to show up. They will show up on the sitemap, and I think that's actually okay because who, how many people actually click on the sitemap here, right? It's better for search engines. And you can see it's working really well for all the other pages on the site. And in fact, it's got some decent keywords uh, in, the, in the titles of the images, so it's not a lost cause as is but it's much better to take full advantage of it and have a real title for each piece and a, um, and a description for each piece and have that show, especially when that description has a link to another page on your website uh, using keywords. So you may want to rewind this and watch it because this is life-changing for people with a FOCA gallery, potentially um, web, web life changing for people with a FOCA gallery on their Joomla 2.5 site uh, and a site map which you want. And you can, when you install the XMAP, you can tell Google Webmaster Tools, which I do for all my clients automatically, and so that every time a new item is added, uh, Google Webmaster Tools gets pinged. All right, thank you. Once again, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net. Enjoy Joomla.